Hey guys, I've got a developer marketing question for you today, and it came from Murat on Twitter. So Murat asks, would writing articles on Medium cover such a portfolio? Or would you recommend having your own website? And uh, what he's referring to, de uh, to there is uh, if you're trying to build up a developer portfolio by writing blog articles, writing tutorials that you publish on the internet to kind of build up your expertise and, and demonstrate your knowledge, should you do that on a platform like Medium, that's just a blogging platform where anyone can sign up? Or should you do that on your own website? And um, I've, I've written a blog article about this topic in the past, but I don't think I ever done a video on this. Um, so my thoughts here are, I personally would absolutely go self hosted, you know, put up your own website there and post your articles to that in the first place. Like this should be sort of where your articles go. And um, I would maybe republish them at a later point in time to sites like Medium or LinkedIn, but I would absolutely make your personal portfolio that you're hosting on your own website, I would make that the number one channel, the number one outlet where you're sharing your stuff. And um, and the main reason is that I just don't trust sites like Medium, Tumblr, or, or well, I guess LinkedIn, if you're running your blog there, I don't trust them to be around as blogging platforms for the next five or 10 years, right? And if you're serious about building uh, this kind of portfolio and building up this kind of expertise, I would not rely on another third party. I mean, technically, you're always relying on some kind of third party for your hosting and whatnot. But if you have control over your own content, that is invaluable. And um, I had an experience like that, where um, I was always doing my, my, uh, my blogging and my tutorial writing on my own website, kind of completely self hosting that since uh, 2012. And my experience has been that if you do that, it opens up so many more um, opportunities and so many more possibilities. For example, now I'm selling Python training courses through my website. If I had blogged or written tutorials and put them on Medium, I couldn't really do that. Sure, you can put a link in there, but you can't really, you don't really have the kind of flexibility that you have with your own website, right? Where you can, um, you know, you can offer additional things and ask for people's email addresses and give away free stuff and, and kind of make it a, make a like little sidebar ads for your own stuff, essentially. And you can't really do that with Medium because you're 100% under the control off the medium platform and any kind of search engine rank that you build up well guess what that points to medium.com it doesn't point to your own website and i think that is the biggest downside of hosting your stuff on any of these other platforms so if you're trying to build a developer portfolio and you're trying to to um, kind of get your name out there and show and demonstrate your expertise, I would absolutely go the self-hosted route. You know, get a domain, um, something like your own name, you know, first name, last name, dot com or something like that. That is very generic. That's always going to be a viable option for you to use moving forward. And then just start putting your stuff there. It's very easy to do that these days. You know, you can just start out with something like um, Squarespace, which is a, a whole hosted uh, blogging platform that you can you can use. Um, you could also just use WordPress. They also have hosted options or you could host it yourself if you can do that. Or you can do what I did and just write your blogging platform from scratch. And it could be a cool exercise, um, something that you can do in Python and something that can teach you a lot of other skills like web development skills. And it would also give you something to blog about on your site, right? Just an idea. Um, so yeah, don't put your stuff on Medium. Honestly, I, I don't trust them. I don't think they will be around in 10 years and you will lose all of your content. And this is really a long-term game. And I think you should always self-publish and self-host your stuff if you're doing any kind of developer portfolio. Now, if you're talking about code, um, I would put it on GitHub. Um, it's kind of the same liability there. You know, honestly, they might disappear as well. But I feel like with code, it's, it's a little easier to migrate it and you're not that reliant um, on the search engine rank and kind of, um, you know, having to show up in, in search engines. So just a couple of thoughts on that. Um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have another question that anything about your career as a software developer, developer or how to learn Python, how to get better at Python. I really enjoy talking about this stuff and I'd love to answer your question in a future video. So just leave a comment below and I'll try and tackle your question in the future.